Okay, well, welcome to Linux Music this week. We're going to look at uh, Zen and how we do some uh, things with it to Zen and Seek24 together to see how we can do some things and get some rapid development of sound, really get ourselves tuned into what's going on. Uh, so uh, we're not going to experiment a lot with the various different features of Zen. We're just going to look at how can we uh, set ourselves up so the next weeks while we're playing with this thing we can uh, get our understanding quite a bit going quite a bit quicker and uh, get going. Okay, so with, with nothing else said, let's let's do it. Okay, well let's get started. I got two things I want to show you this time. Uh, they don't have a lot to do with uh, manipulating Zen uh, in terms of the sounds, but they got a lot to do with uh, setting up for how it'll make it easier for us to, to uh, learn these things and hear these things in the future. So the first is this, AM Synth, if you remember when we, I mean, uh, Seek24, if you remember when we were working with AM Synth, in order to have two instruments, we had to have two instances running. And that's not true with Zen. If you look here at this one, uh, and I edit it, you'll see it's going into Zen. But here's this little uh, MIDI symbol, and it says, what channel will you be sending out on? And I say, I'm sending out on channel one. And I go over here to Zen, and I say, when channel one comes in, send it to instrument one. And similarly, if I were to close this and bring up this as just an A minor chord, an arpeggiated uh, A minor going up here, and I say, when you're playing this uh, A minor chord, send it out on MIDI channel 2. And over here, I say, go to instrument number 2. And you'll receive uh, the note on, note off, whatever from uh, wherever it's coming. In this case, Seek24 on channel 2. So I can actually have one instance of Zen running. And, and truly, up to 16 of these uh, uh, MIDI channels going in Seek24 where they send out on MIDI channel 2, receive on MIDI channel 2, send to instrument 2. And that is going to make uh, all these things we do with Zen uh, considerably easier. So let's come back here to instrument 1, the, the bass sound, and let's turn that on. Okay, and uh, you know, from Seek24 before, this will just keep playing it over and over and over and over. So let's go look at this instrument. And if you recall, there's any number of oscillators and voices going, and they all come into here. And we're just going to take a look and say, okay, well, here's a low-pass filter. In theory, it's taking these oscillators and uh, passing the low frequencies of them and cutting off all the high, high uh, frequencies, uh, the partials that would be coming in. So when I change the cutoff frequency, that's what C.freq means, uh, I ought to hear the actual sound of the of the tone change uh, because I'm passing in more and more higher partials and it, is that true well let's 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 take a look and it sure seems to be that uh um we can hear the effect of changing the the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter, uh, and 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 that's all I use this for is when I'm when I'm trying to figure out what is the low what does low pass filter two do uh, here I've I'm, this is according to Zen as you can see it's uh, the number of times it, it's running it through the the filter here and so uh, and so if I come here and I change it to two times what happens and so that and so that's kind of what this is all about and and what i do with these things is i just set a loop to run and let it run over and over and over, twiddle these knobs, try to familiarize myself, my ear with it, try to sculpt the sound I'm looking for. Uh, so let's, let's try this one. We'll run the A minor chord. It's going out on MIDI uh, channel two, if you recall. 
which we're receiving here on MIDI Channel 2 and Golden Instrument 2. Let's go take a look at that. Now, if you think about it, those are pretty quick notes, and so they need to have a pretty sharp attack uh, because they need to develop their volume in a relatively short period of time. So if I was to change the attack time and, and increase it, uh, those notes wouldn't have a chance to fully develop before you know they cut off and the next note comes in. So let's see, is that true? And again, it seems to be, I mean, in, in these cases, we're mapping kind of an intellectual understanding of, of what these parameters do with, with hearing it on our ears. But if we came into something that we didn't understand at all, uh, I don't know. What does resonance do? Do I hear a difference? Okay, well, let's come up here and throw in some resonance. And I don't hear us appreciably uh, changing the sound of that note. So whatever is, whatever's going on, uh, let's stop that. You'd rather listen to me anyway. Uh, if I look at this and I say, okay, well, whatever's going on with resonance, it doesn't seem to be going on with these oh, four voices. Uh, I didn't even know that. Uh, so when we go through here, uh, this is a trick. Now it's not really a trick. It's just how can we begin to familiarize ourselves with what do these knobs do? How do they how do they affect the sound? Uh, what what's going to happen if I come over here and and we might not like the effect, but I, I mean, I think in any of those things where if we didn't like the specific effect, you can see where there's another place where that might work. Uh, so all these knobs, all these features, all these parameters, uh, we need to take some time with any synthesizer to get to to familiarize ourselves with that, to learn to use it, to learn to hear it, to sculpt the sound that we're wanting. And whether it's Zen or anything else, I have found that uh, just running the sequencer through you know a series of repetitive notes over and over and over and going to twiddle the knobs, uh, very helpful to me. I, I hope it's been helpful to you, and uh, I'll, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Okay, well, that's it for this week. Uh, between the last two weeks, hell, you probably don't even need me anymore. Uh, we showed you how Zen maps to a AM synth and consequently a classic synthesizer. We showed you how to jump in here and and map your own sounds, get get them going, and really tweak those knobs. So, so I mean, frankly, what do you need me for? So, otherwise. Uh, Look at this stuff. Uh, if your stuff doesn't act like my stuff, check the versions. Uh, besides that, uh, roll up your sleeves, uh, fire this stuff up, go to the websites, get help, uh, ask questions, engage in forums, uh, do your thing, and we'll, we'll see you next time.